Will Balin's skull be recast? The Ahsoka series ended for the character of Balin standing on top of the Mortis God statues, staring off into the distance at a glimmering light. So is this the last time we will ever see this character? Balin was played by the great Ray Stevenson, who sadly passed away earlier this year in May. Not only did Ray not get to see the love and appreciation that his character and his performance received from the Star Wars fandom, but he also is unable to continue the story of this character that he loved. So what do we do now? Are we just never going to see Balin's skull again? Or is Lucasfilm going to recast the character? And if so, who can slide into those shoes and take over the role of Balin's skull? Stick around till the end of this video to learn why I think that Balin's skull will be recast and why there is almost no other option to continue this amazing character that Ray Stevenson created for us. As always, smash like on this video and let's break this all down. The Ahsoka finale left us with a ton of unanswered questions moving forward for future Star Wars content. However, one of the greatest questions is will we ever see Balin's skull again after the tragic passing of Ray Stevenson? Well, the answer to that question, will we ever see Balin's skull again, is not that simple. I think you really got three options. One, they deep fake Ray Stevenson's face onto Balin's skull and keep moving forward with the character. The second option, which would be a disaster, would be to kill off the character of Balin's skull. And the third option, which is my personal favorite, is to recast the character. Now, although Lucasfilm could go with any of these options, I think there is only one that is the smart option that will not only respect Ray Stevenson's performance as Balin's skull, but also allow fans to see this character move forward. Now, the first option, which was deepfake, is almost impossible. We've seen deepfake with Luke Skywalker, Anakin Skywalker, and even Leia Organa, but there's a big difference between those characters and Balin's skull. To deepfake someone, you need a ton of source material or old footage of that character. With Luke and Leia, you had the entire original trilogy, and with Anakin, you had the entire prequel trilogy. However, in the case of Balin, you only got the one season of Ahsoka. Now, that is a lot of footage, but to deepfake a character for years and years, because who knows when Balin's story will come to an end, it would upset a lot of fans, but honestly, I don't think it would be realistic enough. I don't think any deepfake artist on the planet can recreate the performance that Ray Stevenson gave us in the first season of Ahsoka. And that brings us to the second option, which again is my least favorite, which is to kill off the character of Balin off screen. This would involve no deepfake, no recast, and pretty much take this brand new awesome character that the fans have fallen in love with and never show him again. And this option is almost more impossible than the first one because Balin Skull was just staring off into the distance at a glimmering light which was supposed to be Abeloth or something else. He's standing on top of the Mortis God. You can't take a setup like that and throw it out the window. That is going to be extremely important further down the line in the Star Wars galaxy. Because like I just said, it could be setting up somebody as huge as Abeloth. So I think the third option is the only right option, and that is to recast the character. As sad as it may be, because Ray Stevenson gave us an extraordinary performance as Balin Skull, it's because of that performance that we need to see this character move forward and have a future in the Star Wars universe. So that leaves us with one enormous question, and that is, who is going to take Ray's spot as Balin Skull? Well, strangely enough, there are a few actors who look very similar to Ray Stevenson working in Hollywood right now. And a lot of Star Wars fans have begun fan casting a new Balin Skull. At the top of most of those lists, you have Lev Schreiber. He's most known for playing the character Ray Donovan in the show, Ray Donovan, or you might know him as Wolverine's brother in the X-Men movies, or if you're a crazy nerd like me, you probably know him as the voice of Kingpin from Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. And let's be honest, Lev looks a whole lot like Ray Stevenson. Another great option would be Gerard Butler. Most known for his role in The 300 or London Has Fallen, you gray his hair and put a gray beard on him. Gerard looks a lot like Ray as well. Those two would be at the top of my list, but there are a few others. From Vincent Regan to Liam Cunningham to Graham McTivish to even Russell Crowe, all of these actors look very similar and could play the character of Balin Skull. I just think in this scenario, the best bet is to recast the character. I think a recast would not 
only take Ray's performance and elevate it, because you can still go back and watch Ahsoka Season 1 with him as Balin, but it would also allow another actor to come in and take from what Ray did and add on to it. So sadly, the show must go on without Ray Stevenson. But who would you want to see replace him? Tell me in the comments what you think. Should Balin Skull be recast or just killed off camera? Or do you have some other ingenious idea that I couldn't think of? Tell me in the comments below. Smash a like on this video. Hit subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified every time I post a video. We go live on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So don't miss out on any of that by hitting that subscribe. And if you want more, go check out this video I just did. All about whether or not Ahsoka is alive during the events of The Rise of Skywalker when she's calling out to Rey.